Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the video. This time is the Storm Collectible Jushin Thunder Liger review. And we gotta say, a legend has retired. Good for him. Uh, I hope all will enjoy his retirement. Uh, we hope to see a new legend come about. But in the meantime, let's get into this review. Thanks to Storm Collectibles for sending this over, letting me review it. I have become a, a fan in the beginning, and then I dropped out of wrestling for a very long time, and then I got back into wrestling now. And uh, it was fun to see the come up, the, the rise and the fall and everything about this. And to see Storm Collectibles do a wrestling toy is pretty cool because I know we've gotten Hulk Hogan in like a bunch of various different forms, but now we're getting some of my favorite, which are masked characters. So these are my kind of favorite. I always uh, aim towards the luchador and the masked characters from the Japanese stuff. So it's fun to get this kind of stuff. It plays on the stuff we already know, at least I already know. So let's jump into it. We have a really nice red and white sculpt design on the suit. I'm glad they chose this suit. I love red. It's my favorite color. The mask design looks fantastic, as you can see here. And it's just pretty cool to see this kind of brought to life. Now, let's jump to my favorite part, which is the articulation. So, our head can go up and down. I think one of the greatest things we face is the problem with the hair. But Storm Collective has made it so that you can actually kind of move around the hair and even, excuse me, and even remove it. I don't know if you guys know, but this is most of the part. It's a wig on him. But uh, yeah, so it is movable around. So you can go left and right, rotating it to get that little extra bit if you want. And so the hair isn't going to be an issue. So if you were worried about that, that's not really a problem. Now, as far as our shoulder articulation goes, we get our standard Storm Collectible stuff, which is a great butterfly joint, which is backwards and forwards. It pulls out a little bit so you can get that extra little oomph. That way you can broaden out your shoulders if you want to. So if you want to say it with your chest, you totally can with Jushin Liger. Our arms rotate all the way around with no problem. Uh, oop, got a little crazy with there. So our arms lift up too. But as you can see, I lifted it in too fast. And what happens is it's going to hit that break. So here with the arm, our articulation stops here, which is at a straight up flat surface design. It goes across. We do have bicep swivel though, but it's going to be hindered here by the muscle definition design. So you can't go all the way around, but you do get it at a nice rotation. Please be careful here. If you're not too careful, you can scuff paint by going a little too extra in there. Our arms are double jointed, as you can see here. But with the design here on the muscle definition, you can only get a certain design. So you're going to get that nice semi-acute L shape there. You get your standard peg articulation, which is very nice. And as long as you're careful, I think you'll be totally fine with these toys. And you can actually shift up and down, as you can see here. As far as the waist articulation goes, Ooh, hold on, I got a little lock up here. So let me just fix that. There we go. So we have our standard rotating. As you can see, he can he can dance. He has the moves. And we have our lower articulation swivel. So those two together give us great articulation. So that way, when you want to do any sort of crazy ab crunching wrestling moves, I don't think you'll pretty much have a problem. Unless you really don't like gaps or the breakage here. And you're one of those guys who like the seamless flesh. This may not be for you. But otherwise, I think you'll be fine. As far as our leg articulation goes, we don't have any drop down method. It just rotates out and across and voila, we can do splits with no problem. So here we are presented with, with splits and touching our toes should not be an issue here. Well, touching uh, the floor mat in this case, like let's say you're stretching, you shouldn't have a problem. And again, let me pop that bad boy in. So as you can see here, no problem. So jump kicks should not be an issue. Now rotating our legs forward, also not an issue going backwards that's how far we get with the butt flap being in the way our knees are indeed double jointed as well so flying jump kicks all those maneuvers uh things like that as you can see here not a problem we have a very generous ankle pivot which rotates through and through goes forward and backwards as well and we have a toe pivot be careful though because the way the uh foot design is on his uh shoes it's under this white part here so you just got to be a little careful when doing it. Now, let me pose this guy up, right? So we're going to talk about these accessories and hands and stuff that he comes with. Let's get that ankle up. I really want to pose this guy up. I need a bigger wrestling ring. I tried to use uh, one of those wrestling rings that I've had for years that I've bought off Amazon. And, oh, man, this guy looks uh, too big in that. But I'm going to have some fun trying to tear it up in there anyway. So you can see he can pose up very nicely here. And we're going to talk about the hands and other accessories it comes with. Now, we're going to start with our 
action hands. These I, these hands can hold items. So if you want to put items in it, uh, they're technically trigger fingers. So if you want to put guns in it, you can too. If you want to get crazy, but if you want to do stuff like a steel chair or, or a pipe or anything, one of those things that you kind of see crazy in wrestling that you know it's a prop, you can probably fit it in these hands here. Then you have your standard action hands, which kind of grab. And these are going to be your hands that allow you to grab your opponent, do arm bars, whip lashes, things like that, power bombs. These are the hands that are going to help you here with these ones. Then we have our martial arts chopping hands, which are standard if you want to get a backhand slap. Uh, if you want a Ric Flair, woo, somebody. All these things are very much necessary and needed. Keep those in mind. Then we have our standard Jushin pose hands. These are kind of his standard staple when you want to get your martial arts posing on, or at least look like it. So here, yeah, none of these should be a problem. Now, got to tell you, the look on this guy is fantastic. It just looks great. It's one of those things where if you are a fan of this, it's going to be great. It's a great time to actually be a wrestling fan because a lot of things are actually coming back and being really cool again. So that's really fun. <laughs> and one more thing I do want to talk about is going to be the overall cape design. Now, we're going to remove the head here. Voila. And we're going to stand it over the cape design, which goes right over. And it holds on. It kind of just sits on there really fine. But this was a really nice touch to add that interest ring fee and uh, <laughs> interest ring fee the interest the uh, intro theme there i go messing it up again but yeah this cape is uh lightly wired on the sides on the left and right hand side and at the bottom so it does get some uh some coil to it it's really nice it can hold up pretty well but it's not strong enough to hold up if you uh aren't doing too much you got to get really creative here so as you can see here it's holding up now let's get that hair down So here we are, looking crazy and fantastic. Voila. This looks really, really nice. This is a great tribute to all those fans who are Liger fans. And I really think this figure came out very nice. It's simple, it's to the point, and it gives it that sort of elegance to him that I really, really enjoy. And honestly, I, if you're a wrestling fan, I don't see why you wouldn't want this. I guess maybe because it's too big for some people. But overall, as a casual fan, I am very happy. If you aren't happy with it, totally don't buy it. But my favorite thing we're going to also jump into is going to be the size comparisons. Now, this is going to give you your ideas for those of you that like to do photos and things like that, how you want to jump in and decide, you know, you want to pose them up. So you're going to sit him, stand him straight up, get him all nice and posed, cape down. And the reason why we stand him straight up is that we can see how he looks posed up with stuff from Storm and other lines, things like that. Depending on who you want to see him powerbomb, you know? You want to know your scaling. So let's jump into that. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to compare him to a Mythic Legion's Barbarian. So you can see size-wise how they scale up, right? Then we're going to do a Mezco figure. Here's a Mezco me that I'm working on, which is on a Gomez body, so you know what the, the technical size would be, right? So here is a me with a uh, Mythic Legion Barbarian. So size-wise, you can see even though he's bigger, he kind of works in pretty well with these guys scale-wise, which is pretty cool, and I like that. So let's move these guys back, <laughs> right? Now we're going to compare him to some other stuff, which is going to be a Lightning Collection Gold Ranger. Voila. Then we're going to do an Articulated Icons Ninja. And this guy's going to pretty much tower over these guys, but he still looks good except with the exception of the ninja because he's that's a tiny man unless you want to use him as a prop character right then we're going to do an sh figure arts common rider cougar and again i know a lot of people don't like scaling of stuff like this but this kind of stuff is really needed because it helps you decide on what you want here we are with a marvel legends spider-man and voila here we go so size wise we see what we're getting he's still much bigger than all of them but that doesn't mean, you know, you can't have fun. Maybe you could drop kick somebody. Force that perspective, right? Now we're going to compare him to some Storm characters. So right here, we're going to do Cyrax. We're going to do Kazuya Mishima. I want to fix that wrist so bad. Then we're going to do stuff like Zangief. Because Zangief uh, technically could be a wrestler. And I think that's really cool. Definitely want to do some photos with these two guys. And then we're going to do Alex.
So real quick, now we have a scaling with these guys, and I think this looks fantastic. Now, compared to these guys, he's actually the smallest, which is pretty cool. So you can really get some perspective here if you want to see him face off against bigger characters. But also, now that we've gotten Jushin Liger, I am going to put my bid in, because I would very much like to see a particular character who is a particular favorite of mine from the Tekken series. You know him as King 8, or you can do Armor King as a variant. But if you guys out there, you're watching and you're listening, you know what I want. Uh, King is a very much fan favorite of mine, and I almost never put in bids, but I would very much like to see a King action figure. But anyway, now that we've jumped in, did our size comparisons, we know what we want, how we got it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you found it informative. And as always, guys, please do good, be good, drink your water. Later.